Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Welcome yourselves to your week two coverage of the 6v6 Winter Showdown 2023 Premiership Edition. Today, we will be bringing you Swift versus tf 2 Easy, And I am joined here by Dr. Underscore on the production and Lucky on the other mic here. How are you doing today, my friend? Doing absolutely wonderful. Ready to watch some top class Premiership Division Team Fortress 2 between tf 2 Easy and Swift. Um, for those of you that don't know, um, we're gonna, I'm going to run down the rosters real quick so everyone just knows who's playing and stuff. We've got some DM lovely on the screen for you. Um, on the side of Tier 2 Easy, if you don't know them by now, they're a staple classic in Europe over the last few years. So we've got Moral, Moral Alexi or Morale, Yeehaw, Nubby, Josh, Nasboy, and June. This roster is relatively star-studded. They have ETF to World titles under their belt and stuff, but plenty of silver medals to go around, Stephen. Yeah, absolutely. But then we can have a, a little bit of look on the side of, of Swift here with a, with a bit of a different roster. They have a bit of a, a shaky week this week, losing their uh, Medic Gregory to uh, Shadow, <laughs> Shadow Wits Money Gang, maybe the <laughs> best named team on the whole of uh, E2F2L. Uh, so they are bringing in a Merc of, it does look like it's going to be Poi murking for them on Medic here, but they do have the rest of the squad. There's Sneaky on Pandemic on the Scouts, EDK and Danny on the soldiers and Yimpo appearing from Div 2 second place straight up to Prem to uh, face off against Nazi New in a, in a few weeks in a rivalry as well. That will oh. definitely be a, a grudge match to look forward to. Yeah, that's going to be the one to watch, I think. Out of all the games in Prem, you've got two games that you want to look forward to, or three games that you want to look forward to, one of which you've already had, uh, which is New Panzer versus Comedy Shorts Gaming. We all thought that was going to be close. Then, of course, you've got El Clasico, TF2 Easy versus Witness, but then you've got Nazi New versus fifth the showdown of div two players who made it through playoffs basically just to make it to the finals that is going to be one hell of a game to watch i think that's like week six or something i can't remember oh we've got um, some time to wait then we've got some time to wait until that one but we do have this match on our hands ladies and gentlemen and tonight we're going to be watching uh the maps of gully wash and sunshine now i always say when it comes down to gully wash this that is our first map for this week whenever it comes down to gully wash best ever man wins and my money's on that boy yeah, I think you can. You're probably right there. Nas just definitely has the, uh, you know, the prowess, the experience. He's played this maps hundreds and hundreds of times. Uh, I will say one thing about TF2 Easy. This is stats a few, uh, maybe a year or so old, so it might not be uh, right anymore. But 90% of the mids they lose uh, convert into a round against them. Oh. So just something to be, uh, you'd be cautious about. You know, if they, uh, if they do lose June early on these mids, and you know they manage to, uh, you know, Yimpo hit some nice stickies and pipes. You know they could really be uh, in for a bit of trouble here. So you can't count anything else, especially on a map like Gully Watch, which is super salt and dependent. And I don't think you can count out uh, Danny and EDK here. They've uh, actually been a pretty formidable uh, duo so far. Yeah, I mean, Danny's definitely been rising up the ranks pretty quickly. He's been playing with most of the top prem, getting all that experience in. So absolutely fueled by LAN as well from that big German LAN that they had and uh, yeah he's, he's going to be scary to watch uh, in some of these games um, but we'll see I mean on the other side you've got Morale and Yeehaw the anti-air guns themselves um, in European Team Fortress 2 and actually we're now going live yep we will be going Onto this first mid, as to remind anyone who just got here, this is your 6v6 Winter Showdown 2023 Week 2 match. Swift in uh, the red, and TF2 easy in the blue if you want to take us away here, Lucky. Yeah, coming into the first mid, we've got Nubby bombing in super fast. Info goes down at the start of the mid. Danny goes in for a bomb, he dies too. Josh goes down in the meantime, but three kills for the side of TF2 easy. The medic's slipping away, poised, super weak. Has managed to get out of there, but Nubby, super clean, fast mid, and he's looking for more. Yeah, he doesn't want to stop this chase here. He's all the way in this river. He has to run away. Nearly gets EDK here. Actually does lose his life here. Now it's Nasboy just alone on last. They don't want to push it too hard, but they are able to reclaim a little bit of positioning on the second point. It doesn't look like TF2 Easy is going to be able to get uh, much out, out, out of this. But now we're in a bit of a, a difficult situation. Pushing into Gully Watch second. It looks like they already want to walk in here, though. Soldier's so aggressive. They're taking a trade straight into onto point. Actually get the, oh, the drop. I don't think Point gosh. had quite yet. 97% uber, really great play by TF2 Easy. Knew they would have been building really, really well here. They lose Danny as well. He can't even manage to get the force. TF2 Easy just scurries away back into that choke point. So now it's looking really good for them as they're going to have 100% advantage pushing onto this last point. 97% there for Poi, uh, nearly getting it. But unfortunately, he disconnects the beam as he's getting bombed. So 
Doesn't manage to get that final little bit of a percentage. Now we've got a heavy coming out of the spawn as well, and uh, they're just trying to desperately defend this last. They come in, pressure cooker style to go down immediately. Pandemic's going to run out of the spawn, but he's got a monumental task on his hands. Jimpo is below deck, and so is Sneaky, and they're all going to go down the point here. Pandemic back up. Boy Jones jumping to the point, but can't quite get there in time. But it is going to be the first round on the board, and that is a one minute 40 round. Yeah, that was uh, a swift round, uh, to be sure. <laughs> We're pulling it out. We're pulling it. Oh, out. that was quick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was that was definitely a quick one. They gave him no respect there on the side of TF2. Easy before they even got Uber charged, they were quite confident to just get straight into there while no one was really set up. Just had those soldiers playing so aggressive. But this is another mid here. Early bomb comes in, but it looks like uh, EDK will lose his life. Danny getting good uh, spam does manage to get Nasboy, but June's in no real danger here. And now they're probably going to have to leave here. Pandemic. <laughs> Nobby kills himself. <laughs> Oh, Nobby just shoots the wall and just murks himself. Oh god, oh, that was comical. But I've got to say that Poi hasn't managed to climb on either of these mids so far. It's been that dominant. He's not been able to get through Elbow. The soldiers just going absolutely mental on them right now. Uh, unable to get anything done. They're already on to second. It's even Uber. Sneaky's already built a sentry gun on last. They're just getting ready for this last defense. But TF2 easy. They do have this kind of set play pushing into last. So we're going to see if they deploy it here. And that's basically this pressure cooker where they'll shoot from every single door to try and kill the sentry gun and get a sack. Yeah, I mean, that's probably the only tactic you can really do to get the sentry gun. We do see Nubby going under that. It's going to have to be one player playing on this rim to uh, worry about. He's with uh, Nikki as well here in this under. Uh, it's Yeehaw for anyone uninitiated to his new alias. Nubby gets taken down really low by EDK here. Some lovely rockets hit by him. They both have to leave water. Oh, and morale going down as well. Look how low these players are. They have to get arrowed up before they can even cross here. And uh, Nubby looks like he maybe wants to stay here a little bit. Yeah, Nubby's going to enter full gremlin rat mode. There's going to be a water all on his lines. So EDK going to be the rim reaper this game as well. Jumping up, goes onto the med. Can't quite find the rockets, but does get one down. Boy getting relatively weak there. Gets the small bottle and he's going to be fine. Danny going into lobby as well. Going to take that 1v1 versus Josh and he's got backup though. So he goes down. Picking main is Yimpo. He gets the pipe, but he goes down oh. himself. What a pick. Yeah, Yimpo getting caught there so bad. He wanted to help with his uh, soldier and tried to get something there, but uh, ends up losing his life here. This might just be a trade here. They already sent Nikki straight into water here. They want to do this same play. There's no demo man to spam this river here, so it's going to be free spam onto EDK. And look, now that he's going to get some good cut time here, EDK is still fighting it, but he does get taken yeah. down. Sneaky manages to finally get him. They don't get a huge amount of cut time in the end of it, but I don't know if they are... They want to finish pressuring here. Looks like they're okay just to chill out for a little bit. Nubby and Nikki both down. Just going to divide their time a little bit. Ooh, we've got 1v1 in lobby. They both trade out here with the assistance of Yimpo there. Picking up the frag with the sticky bomb launcher. They've also got this pyro up in lobby. Pandemic's going to be coming through river. He's just going to be reflecting some projectiles, but EDK gets caught and trapped there from Nasboy, just cheekily placed in river just to stop that aggression. And back to last they go. One second respawner on Danny is going to be even players apart from EDK spawn in the next 13 seconds. So tier 2 easy have that time to play with with this player that they've got. Yeah, it looks like they're setting up for the same thing again. Players already in river. Uh, Nasboy just making, you know, putting some traps on point here, actually. He doesn't want anyone to be able to get close. Nubby is in that water position once more. No one was ready to really uh, uh, watch for him on his cross here. But he's met once again by EDK. He's been doing such a good job. Ooh, does go down eventually to Sneaky, spamming his pistol on the Engineer. But actually was very close. And a little thing there, he was on Pain Train. Ooh, the Pain Train. That's some good tech right there. That's how you really pressure that point. I mean... What happens is when uh, you start playing this point, you force someone to either play on the rim or deal with them in water, and that means the medic kind of has to drift towards the center of the room, meaning so it's a lot easier to get your sack off onto the med, because the med's trying to heal the people that are on the point, so you need to have a lot of discipline, sit around your dispenser, and, you know, just try not to move into the middle of the room. But looks like it's working out for them so far. This gun position is a little bit different to what we usually see, and it's definitely working out. Oh, they managed to get Nasboy. While we were talking about all this, Nikki also went down. Um, during it, and they even managed to get an early demo man pick here. They managed to take out Nobby as well there, so two down for one here. Looks like the force attempt is coming in from EDK, doesn't manage to get anything. They are desperately trying to make this fight happen. This is such a risky position for the sides of Swift. TF2 easy, just have all this high ground. The Uber comes out, and June is barely pressured at all. Eventually does have to pop out, oh, but look no, how bad Poi's position is. Got caught, oh, no. and will go down. Oh, unfortunate. Drops on the other, the wrong side of the point there after the Uber and just gets caught on the tires and can't quite go anywhere. Gets body blocked and just goes down. I mean, not not much you can really do there as the med when you drop off the wrong side of the point. But now they have a couple options. They can go in, start poking Prodigy and what they can do. Morale goes in a bit too eagerly and goes down. Does get traded down by Nikki. 
And they're just going to continue to pressure this. They've got Nubby coming in through water as well. On to Danny behind the point, but he goes down too. So now they're just going to retreat and start playing this out instead. Yeah, absolutely. I mean... I think they should be okay here, but TF2 Easy have been very good at uh, going off these tiny little advantages here and just trying to make those happen. We saw that they didn't even wait for Uber last time at start going in. They already have 90% situating themselves towards a lobby here. Uber is coming up just about now, but look, they're taking a long route into River. 60% only on Poi here. They're trying to just make some time to get this Uber. Uber does come in. They send one into water. No one's really there to watch it. Morale is straight onto point, straight onto the Yimpo. He does go down. There's no Demo Man on this point now. Only the soldiers to block. Good rockets by both these soldiers here, but it might be too much. Nikki's on the point. He's unspotted, Ooh. and they get the cap there. Really well played by there. Only 80% on the Uber for Poi there, so they didn't have that to block. Yeah, they couldn't get Sneaky to the point in time. He's just too fat. He couldn't waddle fast enough towards that point, so he can't get the block in. It's going to be another round here. Too easy. 2-0. Eight minutes down on the clock, and we're heading to a new mid um, by the looks of things here. And, uh, yeah, it's these mids. We'll see if Poi can actually climb this time, Steven. Yeah, I, I, I believe this time. I think they might take it a lot slower on their soldiers here. Oh, no, as I say, no. that <laughs> bomb comes in from Josh, and he gets absolutely destroyed. Poi goes down, June just sitting comfortably in this choke here. They're trying to chase for any picks they can here. Pandemic trying to find Nubby here, but can't quite get him in. He manages to even get an arrow. It's only Danny remaining on this mid, but he's under with <laughs> a solid eight health remaining. Does eventually get traded out by Nubby there. And that is a very, very good uh, mid there for TF2 Easy. Very dominant. Extremely convincing. They're putting so much uh, emphasis on shooting at Poi at the start of the mid and getting those bombs on top of him and stuff. So if the demo man of Nas Boy wasn't enough, just peddling you with sticky bombs, two soldiers flying in your face is definitely way too much to handle. So uh, of course he goes down and then the mid's basically over from there. And if you can't salvage on June, there's not really much you can do. And these soldiers for the red team, they've not managed to get really across this point or they haven't got anyone in drop down at any point. They've not really like done too much, but we've got the supercharge coming to last. Yeah, Nubby's already situated under, wants to uh, pressure Yempo straight away, Uber has come out, is into spawn, Yempo's still alive, but only by a sliver of health, and he's just allowing Nubby to stand on point, Danny comes in for the bomb, is cleaned up by a late comer there from Water in Nikki. that's a third round towards TF2 Easy, finding these last which is so, so easy, I have to say though, I think they might have the best uh, Gully Watch last position in prep. Yeah, it does kind of look like they're pretty unstoppable, I believe we do actually have a pause in the server. Bit of a tactical pause potentially, or someone's disconnected. I remember. Oh, it might be Josh actually. Josh has had a uh, that would be a classic, there, yeah. classic Josh net, Irish net. I thought he uh, got that slightly fixed. No, I guess not. Uh, supposedly got it fixed, but um, yeah, how much is slightly fixed? Hmm, who really knows? But very, very solid performance so far. TF2 easy, make it look like a bit of a cakewalk. I mean, it's fifth by any means is no. It's it's not a bad team. Let's let's be real. In terms of in terms of vibes and stuff, you know, it's a good team. Uh, the average TF2 player going up against it will get absolutely flattened by these guys. But TF2 Easy are just on a whole other level, you know. Yeah, I mean TF2 Easy. I mean they've come first in what season thirty six. Uh, came back together and then they've had a couple second place runs, except for last uh, last season where they did come third place to a to a big upset actually. Uh, from oh, what's the name? How can I forget the, t the flick team name? Oh, League of Shadows. League of Shadows. Shadows, yes. <laughs> League of Shadows. Uh, last season, but yeah, have been a very dominant force in the EU community. Coming second place to an insanely close best of five at Arcadia as well on LAN against Witness, our top European team. So these guys just have the experience. Whereas, you know, Swift, you know, most of these guys come from straight from Div 1, basically mentored by uh, the Div 1 uh, Messiah himself in Mac one div uh, one three times here, <laughs> and then they, they've had to, yeah. <laughs> and then they had to replace a couple people. They obviously uh, lost Mac to uh, the best name team. They've just lost Gregory to the best name team, uh, so they've had to pick up a couple new players here in uh, EDK and Yimpo. and also uh, they have to pick up a new medic as well. So a bit of a roster shift up for them coming to this first season, but. You know, this this might be a bit of a rough one for this first season, but I can definitely see them staying together and, uh, you know, continuing to improve. But we don't have to wait for much longer as uh, we're looking at the fourth round, see if they've improved in this break. And yeah, let's see what happens here. We've got everyone rolling out towards the next mid, and uh, Danny's already on his way. He's uh, rapidly getting there. Nass Boy just gets some mid as well, and we're going to see what the soldiers want to do. Nubby wants again with a very pressure bomb. Goes towards the info, pressures him all the way out really fast. Josh lands on the uh, Drax spot above the door, and Sneaky goes down immediately, gets... 
Pedaled into the dirt by Nikki, who runs into elbow into five or six players. They do manage to get poi, and June is high and dry, nice and safe. In elbow, EDK going through drop down, and he is the last man standing. And I don't know if they know he's there. I don't know if they do. It doesn't look like anyone's particularly aware Ooh. here. He is going for the bomb here. Gets a nice first rocket onto June. Gets a second Ooh. one as well. Really well played by EDK. Morale just couldn't quite find those final shots. And June just was not ready for that at all. So a nice little play from EDK. Does manage to salvage a little bit. I think they might even try to push on second here, Lucky. Yeah, it does look like it. And Danny's already going to try and take the space. But the bomb comes in, gets launched into the air. Danny's going to have to strafe all the way back around. And he just yeah, eats the dirt. And there's not much he can do there. Pandemic and Sneaky are going to get healed up by their medic here. Boy, and the pressure was... Absolutely monumental. They managed to get the cap in the meantime. They've got Yimpo walking through, and this is where June actually times out. Back cap comes in, though, from Nubby. Um, so none of it really mattered. <laughs> I, I was thinking, I was like, they wouldn't have paused in the middle of nowhere, would they? There must be something happening. But yeah, I guess Nubby back capping is one way to do that. Now it's 4 0 towards TF2 Easy. Oh, we've been going about 10 minutes here. A super, Ooh. super dominant mid from here. One thing I've seen is Yimpo's a lot slower than Nasboy a lot of time. Does manage to get a bit of a faster time here, but Nubby is already on his case here, just making him back up straight away. They are sending a lot of players over to this side of Div 2 Easy, but they go down straight away. And now they're look how far they have to back up here. Yimpo taken down. They just have no chance. They're getting absolutely crushed on these mids. They just have so much more presence on the side of Div 2 Easy. Yeah, Holy Nubby as well, just bombs in, gives his life for the damage. His logs are going to look immense after this, but uh, another incredible mid-fight car on Tier 2 Easy. They're just doing the same thing again. They're going to go in for a bit of a trade here, but they just get on top with Danny above this choke point. Bomb in, getting weak, and not much he can do, but Nikki runs in through the choke as well. And they're going to kill Danny uh, pretty early. Josh goes in, but they've Nubby's managed... Nubby's in! He's uh, the no mid! Oh, he does get the mid. Holy God. He dropped. Too good. Good yeah, they just had no one looking for behind. He managed to come in for a really sneaky play there. Uh, get straight on to Poi there, so that's going to be a uh, you know, good little advantage here. 100% Uber for the side of TF2 Easy. Already looking towards this big dog to try to get in. So if Man choose to take the point, but this should only be temporary as they're just going to bully out the rest of these players on Swift here, and they're going to quite happily leave. Indeed, and they're moving out onto mid. And they're going to start getting this captured through. June didn't manage to get the Uber in the end. There was a moment there where it was a little bit like Monka S, because June was at 96% and alone for a choke, but they bomb in once again onto EDK and he's going to die uh, to the pistol of morale. And that's why going to be bombing up and securing River for the rest of the team as well, moving forward with this app now. They're going to leave Nikki to cap, and the last push should be rather imminent. Yeah, they're already into near the shutter area. Uber's not coming out yet. They're holding it for as long as they can. Finally comes out onto Morale. He is going to be going straight onto point. He has two people here uh, to try to kill, but he's going to go for Yempo first. Takes him down so low, giving him the Dukes. Does eventually go down, but Danny's there to manage to finish him off in the end. They managed to take out Sneaky as well during this fight, so that's a scout and a demo man down, but they traded equal players here. But TF2 Easy wants to come back in before this Uber comes out. Wants to make some time for Nubby, but he gets found out straight away, and they are going to have to back up here. Point is coming up on the Uber, and the Swanners are also up here, so we'll see if they want to push out here from Swift. They kind of need to do something here. They need to take these risks a little bit if they want to have any chance of taking these rounds back. Yeah, totally agree. They need to make something happen here. They have this full Uber. Point. And they got the bomb coming in, Josh goes on the high ground, does manage to trip one for one with Danny, but EDK above the choke being a bit of a nuisance, they do manage to clean up Nikki in the back line as well, so no backcap threat is there, and Poi down to 65 health, very very close there, but does manage to hold on to the Uber, they do still have 10% out to work, but it's going to start fading away, away from their fingertips, but they do want to keep going by the looks of things, this might be a risk. Yeah, I think they maybe think that they uh, they didn't have Yell. They're just sending EDK in for a sack or something. Yeah, it looks like they were just doing some spots. Nubby is in here, going for the sack straight onto Poi. Only one rocket ends up connecting there, so that will be him going down. TF2 Easy now have to be a little more cautious here. They don't have anyone watching Big Dory here. Just keeping all their spam really close uh, on top. They know it's so difficult if you just have the scout situated here to really do anything. Uh, EDK finds that out when he gets spammed out straight away. Now they, they need to do something on the side of Swift. They need to make the aggression. They can't rely on TF2 Easy making mistakes here. Uh, it's just not going to work for them. Looks like they want to go big door here, lucky though. Yeah, at the same time, Tier 2 Easy, they want to make their own plays now. They are on the aggressive side. They're starting to send players in behind as well because the flank was left entirely open, so no one holding Big Door. They just send the players in. Sneaky and EDK do move up to the top, and they take care of Nubby pretty easily. Nikki going in as well, going to EDK, and he's desperately taking this 1v2, but he is finding lots of damage, but unable to really secure any frags here. But 
Now it's going to be able to tier 2 easy to see what they want to do here. Looks like they're going to be holding close to Nasboy ready to take a trade potentially, and Josh is going to be holding on Big Door. Yeah. I mean, this is a little bit difficult for them. Danny does jump in from under, was a little unspotted, man. Just get the demo, man. This is a good opportunity for them to come in. Morale does get taken down low, so they have to use as June. Boy, he finally trades out this Uber, but this is going to be so, so much better uh, for the side of Swift. And the chase is on. Pandemic goes in deep. Uh, knows he can't find. He's going to get body blocked by Josh. Super hard there. Boy falls down to the low ground, and no one else is in with him. Everyone went down from the flank behind. Nubby being such a menace. Uh, during this fight, and now Swift have completely collapsed. From what was looking like such a good Uber, they completely flump. Yeah, I mean, Poi unfortunately goes down to the low ground. I mean, I don't know how he really ended up down there. He could have definitely stayed on the high ground, but moves down. Maybe the Roomba tag is a uh, reference to his movement in the map so far, but who really knows. Uh, TF2 easy going to be taking this towards lobby now with 6% Uber. They have a massive 40% advantage to play with, so... Likely going to be another round on the board for them here, um, making it 5-0. I mean, I know morale, and he does not like to hang around for these games. No, he wants to be done and dusted in these games. They're kind of looking towards this lobby area, probably going to be a shutters push here. Josh has just been spotting this entire time. The Uber is going to come out in a second. They have to do with this gun. Good spam coming out, and it does eventually go down, but they have much less Uber time than they did last time, so this might give them a chance underneath this water area to have a bit longer. Nice pipe onto Nasboy, makes him have to leave for a little bit, but there's big pressure by Nubby and uh, Nikki here now. And look, Yimpoj was just not ready, Nikki was behind him. Get some good cap time, and now everyone's a little out of position here. No one's focusing down the same target. So much cap time by the scouts on TF2 Easy, and they do just get that final round. Take it 5 0 here, Lucky. Yeah, GG has dropped as well, and uh, impressive performance there from uh, Tier 2 East. Very textbook last push as well, they just go in through the shutter door, secure the right door, they get their players into water nice and cleanly, and they deal lots of damage to everyone else that's out of the point that they start securing left, and bappity bappity boo, before you know it, they've got the point secured, and 5-0 is on the board, so beautiful stuff from Tier 2 Easy. and uh, I mean, let's have a look at some logs, shall we, and just... just just see, I mean, it's just for funsies, just if you want some numbers, who likes looking at numbers? Everyone loves numbers here. I have to say, big up Danny for managing to uh, to do as much as he did. He had some uh, some really nice bombs um, just on the mid. Was managing to get demo men uh, a lot of the time. Just some really really nice stuff from him. So I think he did quite well overall. I think the biggest struggles there was Yimpo and Poi. If we look at the the deaths on the medic, six to Poi, one to June. June was just alive all the time, and. Uh, Gimpo going uh, 6 to 10 was just struggling a lot more there. Uh, Nasboy only dying four times, which is putting out that consistent damage that he needed to uh, overall, just getting the huge damage. I think one thing I saw in those mids was uh, that Nasboy was so much faster than the Gimpo. Every mid. Yeah, it was every like, single no, mid. He got a lead one, two stickies off of that mid. Every mid. Poi was 75 health, like maximum. He was just insanely faster, and Gimpo could just not follow that. So... I think that was a big differential for them, uh, unfortunately. Yeah, if you look at the damage taken on June, it's like one of the stats you actually want to look at. It's 1,109 damage taken over the course of 15 minutes. So if you double that, that's what they would have had in a full game of 2,000, which is not a lot of damage being dealt to a medic. But um, because of uh, Yimpo not doing any damage to June, June was able to get up and confidently heal all the players uh, that she needed to um, on top of the point and stuff. And... You had Poi, who was essentially trapped in elbow by stickies and soldiers bombing in your face and scouts running at you because you're called weak, like every single mid. So what can you really do if you're getting focused down every single time? Then they just play the ad and go from there. I mean, it's pretty uh, pretty simple stuff, really. Yeah, it was super, super brutal uh, for Poi. Didn't, I can't even say uh, that they did anything particularly wrong. Uh, to be honest, some little mistakes happening here and there, falling off the wrong side of the point and things like that, but... They really did uh, did all they could. Hit some nice surfs. Were baiting at the right times. But yeah, I think there was just that constant aggression from TF2 Easy. They just didn't really understand or know how to uh, deal with on the side of Swift. The experience just showing a little bit there. Uh, but that is only our first map. And uh, Golly Watch is a lot different from our next map that we have coming up here. It's going to be Sunshine Lucky. It is indeed. Um, and Sunshine is a, is a very interesting one. It allows for teams to kind of show like uh, their teamwork capabilities on mid fights, especially because the mid is very unique in itself. It's not one of those ones where you're going to have an X, X thing always happens on the mid. Like, for example, on Granary or Metalworks, you know those soldiers are high bombing. They've got nothing else to do. 
But in Sunshine, there's uh, there's layers. There's different things you can be doing. You've got Cafe, you've got Choke, you've got a couple high bombs. You can play under the point, you can play above the point, you can play wherever you want. So um, it's kind of a, one of those all-over mids. But what I was going to say as well, Stephen, a little bit, little bit, just a little bit off topic. I want to congratulate <laughs> congratulate Nikki, uh, aka Yeehaw, on 900,000 scattergun kills. Wow, that is actually very impressive. Yeah. That's uh, absolutely insane that a man has that many on his scattergun. Holy God. Cosmetic I things. I think that's the most I might have ever seen on uh, Unfarmed. Yeah, that's like absolutely. And you know, this guy just sits in DM all day. Like, look at him right now on the server, running around, shooting absolutely everyone. He's he's having a whale of a time. But yeah, um, do you expect anything to go different, Stephen? Because um, after what we just saw, uh, the mental might be gone. Um, I don't think Swift is a, is the kind of team to to lose their mental and official. I think they're pretty decent at, at keeping it and resetting it. Uh, I know you know Sneaky can sometimes get a bit annoyed. And a lot of the time, uh, you know, they have pretty good players around them to reset. Uh, so I think they'll be okay. I have to say, though, I think your demo man can do a lot here. And if Yimpo's, you know, being a bit slow to roll out to these mids, it could, uh, you know, really be a struggle for them. Uh, but we'll see. It, as you were saying, Sunshine is a completely different beast from Gully Wash. It isn't, you know, as soldier dominant on these uh, mids. Obviously, the high bombs matter a lot. And uh, TF2 Easy definitely have those in their arsenal. Uh, but I think there's definitely some space for them to... Uh, to play this a little different, uh, yeah, and, uh, absolutely. I have a chance. I think definitely TF2 is still favoured than this. Uh, but yeah. yeah, one thing that we're going to be looking out for, I was just going to say, is that Nubby uh, is very, very consistent at hitting the fast rollout. So I think frame one, first mid, we're going to see a fast Nubby. I was going to say the exact same thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was going to say I expect this Nubby fast bomb. It's it's a bit of a staple of him. I think actually I'm just going to keep it on his cam for this first. Yeah, mid. I'm going to go on his cam actually. Where is he? Go here. <laughs> If he does not do it, I'm going to be immensely disappointed here. Alright, yeah, if like you've only just joined us there, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to uh, the Winter Showdown 2023. And, uh, oh, is he, no, he's not doing it. I'm sad now. Anyway, this is a disappointment. Season. Yeah, we are onto this first mid. Both sides very healthy on the side of TF2. Easy instant double bombs coming in. So, boy, he managed to serve away very well there. Soldiers both taken down now. Uh, so it's looking decent for TF2 Easy, but so much ground taken here. Nice bomb in from behind. Does manage to take down June. Uh, well played by Danny. Gets a second in on Nikki there. So really good mid here from Danny. Just really two players here. Morale is coming in from the back line. Gets good damage on the Yimpo. It's taken out by Nasboy. Now Poi going in with a head. <laughs> yes, Poi. That's what I'm talking about. He actually probably secures that, you know. like He distracts onto the demo. The demo's not looking at the scout and can't get the 1-2 sticky pipe combo down to finish him off, even if he was a full 185. But Poi then. Whipping out the head and uh, confidently taking down Nas Boy, and it is going to mean for the first time in these games they're going to be on the front foot here. And let's see if Poi can hold on to the Zuba. Yeah, they are looking to play a little bit aggressively here on TF2 Easy, having Josh on this patio area. He is going round for this bomb attempt. Doesn't manage to get anything uh, here. Nubby was going in for a little bit of aggression as well, and look, they're just not giving this up for free. They're sending these soldiers in, getting arrows and just carrying on this pressure. And they're just struggling to get in. I think they're just trying to make sure they get Uben. Danny even goes down to a nice set of traps here. And uh, Swift wants to go in straight away before they get this Uber. Already 75% on June. Probably going to have to focus her down straight away here. The Uber does come out on the side of Swift. It's all onto this gun. They take it over this left side. Demo Man does go down for TF2 easy. They just need to try to play the point here. The soldier's going to be a bit of a fawn in their foot here. As the Uber does come out, they manage to build up really well on TF2 easy. They have a good opportunity to take a refight here, though, as they've already got their Demo Man situated on this top right area. They come in on the left side, though. Heavy taken down. Really weak morale. One half does eventually go down, but they take down two for that one here. They're trying to get in desperately here. Might even lose Poi, though, from the bomb coming in behind from Nubby. It looks like TF2 Easy will just manage to hold on for this. Wow, what an impressive fight that just happened there. I mean, uh, holding on from TF2 Easy, I think we saw like layers of how they play indeed, but TF2 Easy showing that they're not just an offensive team. They are definitely built for defense. That defense on second was rather monumental when you're facing a full Uber disad. And then on last, Morale's already built a sentry gun. It's level three. It delays so much for the Uber to come out from June that it was a little bit scrappy after the blue Uber, but they managed to defend in the end. And now, even Ubers back on second. Everyone's going to be building their Ubers, and we're going to see what they want to do on the side of Swift and how they want to do some sacks. I mean, they are on the offensive right now, so uh, let's see some set plays. What have they got in the tank? 
Yeah, absolutely. We're going to see some double bombs. We're going to see, you know, a scout soldier. We're going to see someone going behind. Plenty of stuff that you can do on this map. They just need to find that opening. Now, probably just wait for a little bit of damage to uh, come out from Yimpo potentially before they can really send anyone in. It's just so hard to deal with all these buffs players here. Actually, they just want to take a trade in. Yimpo goes in really high with it. Does manage to get a force out, but well. loses his life for it. Now, Poi in such an awful position. No scout, no one around. He gets completely body blocked, and that's Poi going down. So this is an absolute tragedy of a push here. Uh, from Swift, maybe they thought they had a tiny advantage to go in and do something, so they decided to jump that uh, that demo in deep. Try to stuff them as they come in, does EDK, but gets forced back uh, straight away, and now it's going to be TF2 easy taking this mid. And I assume probably just rushing second here, Lucky. Yeah, I, uh, I can't believe that the set play of the first, the very, very first sack attempt they get in the game is just Uber the demo man high and feed him into the enemy team. Um, <laughs> Questionable. I wonder who called that one, but anyway, uh, now they're facing down Uber disadvantage on the side of Swift and TF2 Easy looking like they're going to be starting to come in here. They'll probably start pushing before they even get the Uber as well, and they do indeed. And Nubby's going in super high. He's going to be fading away, just dragging some shots away from their combo and uh, moving in towards Cafe side. And the rest of the red team, they're already all on the low ground. They've already moved to the floor, and they're all going to start getting caught here as Impo is not looking in the right direction. He gets taken down. Danny goes into towards uh, Dungeon, and this Uber is now pedaling on towards last. Yeah, they're going to take this in straight through Dungeon. Imagine milk it for a long time. Uh, morale already on at this point here. Hasn't had to use yet. The Uber finally comes out. Poi has managed to build up this Uber here, so it's going to be a bit of a trade here. Lots of players on point here, and the chase is on by these soldiers. But June so, so sly manages to get that final little surf out. And that will only be Josh going down during that fight. And it's going to be even Uber's back on last. We'll see how they uh, they want to approach this here on TF2 Easy. They don't like to stop uh, this trade much. They don't like to you know, let people get set up. So we might see, you know, when Josh is ready and set up, some sats coming out straight away. Yeah, what I love to see there is, uh, well, with June is that... Uh... She immediately senses that this Uber's going south and just dips completely. Usually you get a bit of save your buddy syndrome because she was with morale at that point in time, but she just leaps out there, hits the nice surf like you mentioned, and manages to get out. And now they're in this even Uber situation. I say even Uber situation, they have built this really well, so they are actually going to be going in for an Uber. They take it in. They get on top of the sentry gun. They destroy it. No sticky's currently on points. They take the Uber off of morale. Oh, no, they keep it on him, and it's a bit of a mistake here. They could have played the point. Uber is going to come out now for Poi, but they have lost the impost. They've lost their demo man. And the repush could come in at any moment. Yeah, poor Yimpo was just super stuck there. All out. He, I think he oh, might have Josh. been the only person that was more than he just got absolutely sandwiched here. No, oh, go to he the gets in the way. Yeah, but they are recontesting here and they might actually get some picks if they're not too careful here. Uh, it doesn't look like anyone will go down. So the full Uber advantage does stay on the side of Swift. They are situated to push out here. Sneaky already taking some space over from the bottom left. He's managing to get straight onto point here. And now uh, the rest of his team does follow him up. Only 60% Uber on the side of TF2 Easy, so they might have a little bit uh, of time to play with here. It does look like we might have the Nubby Spy coming out here. I uh, can't see if he's come out of spawn with the wow. end, but actually the Force came out into uh, Valley, so I didn't even see that. Yeah, gets the Force, and uh, it's looking really, really good now for TF2 Easy, despite them having a Spy, but he's in the perfect position to start receiving players. He has been spotted now on the Spy, and he's just having to cloak around. Not really much he can do, but they lose Nast Boy. They only just use the Uber now, so they drop him from the Uber, but they kill off Sneaky with that Uber. Nobody just kills himself, because there's not much, really much he can do anymore. Yimpo does get cleaned up in the end. No mid-capture coming through for the red team, though, and they're going to start bombing in Danny. He does manage to get out Oh my god, Danny onto June! What an incredible airshot that was! That was absolutely massive from him. A lovely little flick straight onto June, ending her life there and then. Now, this is going to be looking really, really good for Swift. They're going to have this full Uber, and they're two players down from the side of TF2 Easy, so it's going to be much more difficult for them to hold. They do have uh, Nubby hiding in this forward spawn on Soldier, so it might slow them down a little bit here. They're taking their time, taking this slowly. No, they have quite a decent bit of time to play with. Uh, here on the side of Swift, it doesn't look like they are going to be able to take this second point pretty freely, but actually the bomb comes in from Josh from Bat. I don't know how he managed to get in completely unspotted there onto Poi, but it does, and the Uber comes out onto last here, trying to get something, but can't even get the sentry gun. Nikki manages to keep it alive, and they even lose Pandemic. I didn't see that nubby shot, but I assume by your reaction it was a nice one. It was a direct from the low ground up to the high ground, and Nubby delayed second so long that when the Uber was coming in, they couldn't do anything about it, so... He kills off the flank scout, and oh no, it was disastrous on second for them, but the last push, even more disastrous. They have to now retreat with their tail between their legs back to second. Nikki's still on the NG though, so while they've got this Uber and Nubby is still on the respawn queue, they've still kept 
this engineer up. I wonder if he's going to go swap off now as the push. It looks like it's coming through here. Looks like he wants to still stay, still has that level 3, they are going to be taking this in through dungeon on the side of tier 2 easy, they don't think they're particularly spotted here as they're already near to this platform area here, do manage to get a bit of clap time, but look, everyone on Swift is just ready to swam these players out, calling this focus fire here, uh, I'm sure, but look, Nasi is just managing to uh, keep them out while morale caps this point, but they're walking back in, the Ubers have even out here, the trade comes through straight away, and they are just having to leave on the side tf 2 easy here, they do manage to take down uh, Yimpo there, only Nubby going down for the side of tf 2 easy So now, a demo man down is going to make this a lot harder to hold as uh, Natsboy already out through the shutters area. It's going to be walking forward, pressuring these players out here. And I don't know if they're going to be able to hold this on Swift. They do decide to back out and just give this one up. Yeah, June playing incredibly here, just dodging around, managing to survive out all these Ubers as well. The, sur the survivability is really there and it's uh, still 0-0. Zero, zero. It's been nine minutes. By this point in the game on Gullywash, it was 3-0. So, uh, bad performance so far on Sunshine, I would say. But um, also, Pandemic is the highest uh, scoring fragging class in the server. So, definitely something something's changed. Sunshine appears to be a little bit more comfortable for them. Yeah, they're definitely doing a better job. It's definitely much more back and forward. Um, I think they've just had some really good plays onto June in general. But I think the TF2 Easy has maybe had better play overall and better, you know. Uh, so, they just had better aggression. And uh, being able to, you know, slow things down when uh, Swift wants to take it for free. Talking about Swift taking it for free, they are walking into this valley area. Maybe looking for some spam to allow someone to sack here, but it doesn't look like anyone is really ready here. They are setting up EDK and Sneaky in this cafe area. Only one soldier being able to watch them. This is taking them a long time, and Nubby's just getting more and more spam onto them, making, making it more and more difficult. Nassboy with some pipes, see if you can find anything here. Oh, it's just so slow from them. They're not really getting in. EDK eventually goes in, but the firing squad is straight there. And he, uh, I didn't think he lasted for half a second in the air. Yeah, Morel and Mickey just <laughs> obliterating him out the sky. I mean, what can you do? And uh, now that's something going to be sacking towards him. Now going to go on through the choke, gets on low ground, and Boy just goes for the trade. June drops everyone. Unfortunately, he doesn't get the Uber off, and now she's just completely alone. Nubby is in flowers, but Nasboy and Morel go down in very, very fast maneuvers there from Swift. Yeah, really well played by Swift. Yeah, very uncharacteristic for June to drop so many players there. Uh, eventually, dropped the demo man, literally just standing in her. Uh, when that trade came out, maybe a little bit too much confidence coming out here. They have managed to get a couple of defensive classes coming up as Fifth tries to push in and they even lose Sneaky during this. So this is not looking too good for them. They barely have any advantage either here, Lucky. Yeah, Nubby has managed to drag them back as well. He is in the back lines just jumping around. Sneaky's going to have to take a 1v1 with him right now on this forward spawn. Knows he's there. Oh, one rocket comes out. Banny Vine comes as well. And they're just going to keep... You know? Oh, no. Oh, okay. he loses. Oh, that's disappointing. That's not what you want. And now they're delayed even longer, pushing into last, and they're going to have more and more time to build the sentry gun. They managed to get to level three. They've got morale up on the pyro, so looking like a pretty solid defense going up for the sides here too easy. Yeah, Nubby being behind is actually such a pain from here. He's just hiding in cafe here, hoping to get sneaky once more. It's going to get sandwiched, though, this time. I think this is probably the end of his life. He does eventually go down here. Um, but he's wasted so much time, they've just got a full gun set up, they got a pyro, a gun, all they're missing is a nubby really here, so it's going to be a ridiculously hard stack for them uh, to come in and do here on the side of Swift. Yeah, they have the uh, pyro in front of the sentry gun with a beam shoved up the pyro's butt, so yeah, you're going to have to come up with a different strategy here, guys. Uh, top right is not going to start working for you, so left side likely to be the door of choice, but Nasboy is going to be holding that one with sticky bombs on the lower door, so... Uh, making it extremely difficult to do anything here. Do not worry, they got the dispenser. Oh, the key pick. Now you can push. Get in there, boys. Yeah, but now they are looking towards this left side a little bit, but yeah, as you said, just going to be met by Nash Boy. The dispenser goes down once again, another key pick here. But they're just going to really struggle here. They need to have something else in their playbook here if they really want to do anything. Uh, but it looks like they're just going to go for the tried and uh, tried and trusted. Maybe waiting for this pyro to run out of ammo. He doesn't have infinite ammo after all here. He does have a good amount of air blast though. So, yeah, I think a 10 actually to be precise. Uh, and then just has that ammo pack every 10 seconds. They're just not really doing anything. Looking towards this lefty with two players. Danny does actually manage to get through here. Both soldiers through. Nasboy manages to pick out Danny. EDK going to have to back out. But that's the sort of thing we want to see a little bit more. Is that a little bit of aggression uh, on that left side from them? Uh, just trying yeah. to find something. 
Yeah, they've got to poke and prod and see where the weaknesses are in the hole and that kind of thing. You can't just sit there, you know, forever and just wait. But we have got Josh up on the conch. He's going to start building that one up and uh, see if he can get any banners going. I mean, it's the only, the, there are two banners left because the battalion's got banned, didn't it? Yeah, it did get banned, yeah. So it's only... Uh... Only really, this is is probably definitely the best option. Actually, I have to say. I mean, buff banner is is reasonably, I mean, reasonably good, but that extra health is just, you know, just so much better. Now, people's up on the spy there, by the way. Maybe just uh, looking to see what you can find. Is backing into uh, spawn now, coming back up on the soldier. Bomb comes out from Danny. Sentry gun couldn't find him straight away. EDK was also in, but they find absolutely nothing from that. June is sitting pretty on that 1 at 50 health here. So this is now going to be a great opportunity for TF2 to try to do something. Two soldiers down makes this uh, second so much harder. They really have to keep Yimpo alive because he's the only real big spam. Looks like they're not going to go for anything here. Just going to be Nas setting up some uh, traps into lobby. And uh, it's about all she wrote. Maybe just going to wait for Josh's conch to come up. Yeah, looks like they're more than content with just chilling out and uh, doing absolutely sweet. FA and they get the kill on EDK with that forward trap and now it's 50 gonna go out of lobby again So now boys gonna be able to set up that trap and just once again delaying things and delaying things and delaying things But I'm surprised they haven't considered an off class, you know, so far. No spies, no snipers, no weird heavies yeah, There's only about 60 seconds remaining now though uh, so they might just have to go for a trade here when EDK gets back and healthy with them. I think it's probably their last option here, but this is always going to be such a hard push here. If you try to go in top right, you have that pirate that can stuff you, and you're just going to use so much later. Even if you do get that sentry gun down during that, you know, it's still not going to be that great of a post fight. If they go onto this left side, you know, they'll probably get an boy, but that... Uh, that's probably all they'll get, and then there's just a sentry gun watching point. They do decide to come in through dungeon, and they're going to find absolutely nobody. Going to try to spam down this gun, but there's just not enough pressure here. Nasboy already comes back out and is spamming them as this uber has ended. And now Swift just going to have to back up. This is not looking good at all. Yeah, they're just not going to go anywhere, are they? On the side, it's here too easy. They're just going to wait for another mid fight and go from there, because there's no real point doing anything at this point in time. You can hold the uber, hold last. Fifth, they, they're not doing anything. They should be sending their entire team to sack right now, just into the enemy team to see if they can get around on the board but they decided to not even do that so it's going to be around Uber's popped on the point and we're back to our round reset it's still 0-0 zero, zero, ladies and gentlemen go make some cup of tea we could be here a while yeah 15 minutes in is this longer than our first game was yeah <laughs> yeah it is yeah <laughs> yeah so now one round already longer than our other game so looking much better from Smith this time they had a really nice mid last time actually I uh, had really good denies of those soldiers here. So we'll see if they change anything up here. It does look like they're doing about the same from tf 2 Easy, keeping these soldiers nice and buffed as they come in through this valley area. Same at Double Bomb is coming out here. Point much slower this time. Takes a nice early rocket here. And now it's taking down so low, has to run all the way into valley. Even though they only lost uh, Yempo there, they had to back up so, so fast and so, so far. And now this is TF2 easy to try to push into second once they've cut this point and got everyone healthy. I have to say, without a demo man, this, uh, this second is much easier to push. EDK taking some initial spam as well. Just allows Nubby to get in quite aggressive as well and uh, take this space. And they're already poised to push here. These soldiers getting taken down so low. Morale does go down to Sneaky and Pandemic though. So that will be one scout down. TF2 easy just biding their time, taking the reset. They know it's going to be difficult to push for Swift. But the, uh, the train don't stop as they're already in cafe here, Lucky. Yeah, they want to get aggressive this time around. They're sending players in the flank a little bit more uh, momentum to this fifth play style at this point in time. And um, I think Tier 2 Easy are trying to do everything that they did on uh, Gully Wash. They're going in, they're being a little bit cocky. They're trying to take these fights that aren't usually that conventional. Uh, Josh going in for a bomb is going to get slayed uh, by uh, Sneaky. Nobby's in, this in guy. as well, Nobby's in as well. Oh, he gets the draw! draw. Beautiful. Yeah, really well played by Nubby there. Hits a lovely little rock in the end. Does 122 damage to that medic. And uh, no chance at all. Good try from Poi to try to surf that, but Nubby just got those on lock. Yeah, he does indeed. And June now it has the full Uber. Need to not get forced. And we've got EDK in a in a in a spot here above Choke. I wonder if he's going to get spotted out here. They go and start to get players in. He bombs in and around, and he's um, oh oh, oh get get as well. Never mind, I thought it was Fubar, but it was not. They sent in everyone though and decided to too easy. The salvage is now being brought out. Uh, Point does receive a little bit of an iron bombie to the feet and is going to go down on the low ground here, but only just 
They do manage to salvage pretty well in the size fifth, and Nikki and Nubby have managed to get in behind, in through lower, and they're just being absolute goblins to the size fifth. Danny on the low ground is getting cleaned up by Nikki. Pandemic goes in, and it gets. There's a bit of a crossfire that they've set up here. It's beautiful. Yeah, really nice little uh, pinter maneuver from them, actually. Uh, they were just ready. I was really worried about that because I was like, they need to be really careful. They don't take any 1v1s here on Swift, or they could very easily lose. And unfortunately, that's kind of what happened. Danny got a little caught out, uh, was looking at Josh, but just got shot in the back here. Uh, they do look like they want to hold this at least somewhat on the side of Swift, but tf 2 easy just collapsing and take down Pandemic very early on this fight. Poi taken down to his sliver of how he's going to manage to get out, but Yimpo once again is caught out, seems to be caught out quite a lot on these seconds, and Josh comes in and manages to get that final rocket onto Poi, does eventually get traded out, but everyone else is just allowed to come in here on the side of tf 2 Easy. Uh, <laughs> they don't quite have second yet, EDK is fighting on the back lines, Nikki eventually takes it, and finally, our first round towards oh, tf 2 Easy. On the board. They were on crits the whole time, well, hang on a minute. <laughs> Apparently we're blind, it didn't do anything in the end, but they had it nonetheless. Um, which is why they had a small line, I didn't wonder why that had happened, but round goes on the board nonetheless. Um, very scrappy fighting, a bit of a DM server at the moment, I would say, in second especially. They just took the fight, they run in, and uh, they just managed to kill everyone pretty much in pure chaos, as another mid ensues. Yeah, we are seeing the same bombs again, but they've rotated sides a little bit. Josh is going to be behind uh, this time on mid, so a little bit of a difference coming out. Danny comes in, gets a lovely two rockets onto June, takes her out here, so it's now looking really good for Swift. They've only lost a one up for free here. they got to be careful with Yimbo here, taking down so, so low by Josh. He managed to live, and that's why he is in a little bit behind. Actually, no, he's in front, sorry. He's on the blue side. I think might even create it here as well, so they finally lose him. Now this is looking great for Swift. They have 100% uber advantage. Players down that uh, died really late here. They're already bidding them onto last. Yimpo on this right spawn. No, oh, but he gets taken down by a sniper morale. That's what you've always got to worry about here. They do have time to wait this out here on the side of Swift, and that's what I expect them to do. No need to rush this, but their momentum has slowed down at least for now, Lucky. Yeah, one incredible mid fight coming off for uh, Swift as well. They had a great time. They received the soldier bombs really nicely. They rotated well, and they got the bombs off into June more importantly. Get that frag out, and then. Uh, Easy from there, you know, you just walk forward with the heels. And now, the sentry gun has gone up on the left hand side, so they're going to start holding this one up. The spam coming down very early on. Danny's getting some pressure in towards us, and this is what you want to see. But June has been building this entire time up to 80%, so she's going to start sitting in spawn. They're not building that well because it's on Nas Boy at the moment, but they're going to start getting some cat time now. And Josh sees it, gets a nice direct onto the point on Sneaky. Point runs onto the point as well. They've got time throughout the cat, heavy man, just get to it in the end. And June does get the supercharge up as well, so they're going to hold on to this one. Demo going for a bomb, doesn't get anything at all. And also Danny going in, gets levitated by the heavy, unable to do anything at all. Yeah, really well played. Uh, but they're just getting this uber so, so fast. They just they decided to use on the sentry gun when they knew they were all left as well. Maybe a bit of a misplay. Probably had some time to uh, to get it down, but probably also worried about that sniper on uh, morale. But now it will be TF2 easy with that full uber advantage here. Pushing into uh, into mid here, coming through the choke point. Oh, takes him just that sneaky on his main class of the spy here. Manages to take it down June. Nas boy so, so low as well. And will just about manage to get out with his life. And they're playing this so safe on Swift. They're playing it so slow onto Tetris. They do not want to lose boy. Yeah, and that's exactly the right thing that you got to do. I mean, especially when you're playing against tier 2 easy, you don't want to make any mistakes, and you just play in the safest possible position. And uh, they are just poking and prodding so much. Oh boy gosh. is so weak. Just any door that they come in from, the pressure is always there. Even though tf 2 Easy may be on the back foot in the situation, they are just poking and prodding so much. Yeah, these soldiers always seem to be so, so ready uh, to do anything here. Right, we'll see if Lightning Snipe strikes twice. Well, it might do if uh, Pandemic gets taken out by Traps, very unfortunately. Looks like they still want to use it straight in onto this right side. We'll take the gun down. Is going to be Morale playing it very close, but look, they're just stay, may even stay in small. They've allowed Morale to come out of this left spawn onto Heavy here. They have rotated quite well, but Poi is in a bit of a stuck, sticky situation. They are going to manage to get them out here. Uh, but just these last wishes are just so... Uh, they're not bad, right? But they're just really struggling to get any pressure onto this left-hand side. Uh, yeah, that they really, really need. Yeah, I think that they're getting their scout across the left-hand side, but they're not holding on to that right shutter, which is uh, atypical, because the Demoman wants to rotate across the left and just start pinging down people with stickies while his scout plays the point, but they couldn't quite play the point, so 
They left the right shutter, Morale just comes out in a full 450 HP heavy, and that's not what you want when you're trying to push last, you know. And Danny going in for a bomb here. Onto the men of June, and June does hit a nice surf and just surfs all the way around on low HP, but there's no more pressure coming out here, so they're going to get second up. And they still have this advantage to play with currently, and both medics are on medigun because I did have to check this time. <laughs> That's always good to see. Already 80% on pipe, but they're played so far back here. I think they'll probably end up giving up this mid uh, for relatively free as Nasboy does jump through here. But they look like they want to fight it. Pandemic manages to get onto Nasboy. Can't take him down though as he manages to gather an arrow. And eventually the Uber does come out. A nice force there by Nubby who eventually uh, does die. But keeping June's Uber is definitely the priority here. Both soldiers down so they need to play a little bit passive and they can definitely make a lot of pressure through doors that there's not being watched here. We do see Danny already taking this passive area, trying to take this spam, but the Uber is used straight into the side of Swift here. Poi dodging and diving, trying to uh, to live with all their might here and do manage to a little bit of uh, beef DM, unfortunately, there by Nasboy. And now there's still people in behind. Pandemic does eventually get taken down here. So it will be a scout down uh, for Swift as well. He was about even. I think this might be a push from TF2 easy. I think they might look for something here. Yeah, they might indeed, but they've got to worry about this back cap. EDK is hiding in the corner on Flowers. It hasn't been spotted. EDK is in behind. He's going to the point here. They've still got June in choke. He does <laughs> jump on top of it. They managed to get kills in choke here. June was alone. EDK gets the cap. Bombs in towards June. June with a nice couple of jukes. They does manage to survive. Um, but the second cap goes through, so they are going to have to try and block these spawners. Danny does get back spawned by six seconds, so it's going to open up mid now. Should be good. Yeah, I think this is just going to be a uh, pretty free mid. Uh, unfortunately, they do have to back straight up here on the side of Swift. Ubers have evened out here as well. Uh, so I don't know if this push they're about to do through Flowers is really going to be a good idea here. They do use the Uber, but little do they know June also has it. We see Yimpo got jump in super deep. Uber does eventually come out here, but Yimpo goes down in this fight. So no demo man up uh, for the side of Swift and not a single player going down for TF2 easy. I think we've seen this before, where they've had no Yimpo and it's just so, so difficult for them to hold them. It's already pushing through this cafe area, Lucky. Yeah, it looks like they're going to be making them in second. EDK going in for a high bomb. Jumping around towards Choke just gets immediately blocked and uh, does get murdered by Josh. And everyone else is just starting to flood through every other door and they manage to get a hold of second. And slight advantage here for Poi, but shoved all the way back to last. Not exactly where they wanted to be. A coast to coast for TF2 Easy in this round. Um, but. They have decided they're going to go for the Pyro and for the oh. Sniper. Morale jumps through the doorway and eats the Sticky Trap. And um, what can you really do? Sneaky is also in the fray in this lobby as well, trying to do the same kind of pressure that Tier 2 Easy did to them. Yeah, really nice uh, Sticky deck there from Yimpo to manage to pick up that scout. He's going to, you know, put a bit of a spanner in the works here for TF2 Easy here. They are now on this front foot here. Uh, going to want to try to find a way to push in here, but I think they're up against pretty much the same defense they, uh, they put up on their side. Luckily, not a level 3 gun up yet onto Sneaky. Uh, they still have this pyro to worry about, but already the spam coming out uh, from the soldier and Demi Man. Gun goes down early. Pandemic manages to kill himself? To <laughs> it was a reflect oh. pipe onto the sentry gun, I think, uh, that killed him. That works? Anyway, Boy, comes uh, it doesn't matter anyway. The Uber comes in here. Uh, trade down by both teams. Nikki is in on this left side. Can't really manage to get anything. But they actually managed to get Poi there. Uh, and that's probably a really nice pick here. So they will have a uh, considerable Uber advantage. Probably about 30% if they build this up uh, really well. So that was a really messy fly there. No, sorry. I got really uh, perplexed by that that pipe. Maybe it was like, I guess, just a reflect. And then it landed at his feet. Or it was off the sentry gun. It was, it was a strange one. Yeah, very, very odd how you managed to kill yourself with a reflect pipe, but hey-oh, uh, we all do stupid stuff um, in the game of Team Fortress 2. It's a silly game after all, but uh, managed to build up the super to a very healthy 45% advantage, so they're going to start making their way in towards the lobby and getting buffed up and all the rest of it. Uh, typical stuff you do before you start pushing in towards last, and the sentry gun is currently up on the right-hand side, but it's only level what, 2? Yeah, level 2 at the moment, So, and the sentry gun's up on the left, so Uber comes in. Yeah, Uber comes straight out. The gun goes down pretty much instantly. No traps on the point. They were in that cone spot, but it gets cleared straight away morale. And that's both going down here. So this is actually pretty good for the side of Swift here. It's CF2 easy just having to back out as they lose three players here. June managing to live with her life here, but Poi, 7 Uber compared to 30. They will have substantial enough advantage just to pressure them out here. Nubby and EDK fighting on this bottom left area. Pandemic comes out and helps his... Uh, 
soldier teammate and it doesn't manage to take him down here so that one pick this uber advantage they will be taking this straight into valley here trying to rush this as fast as possible but the side of tf2 easy so far back and set up and prime for the spam onto point already taken it down to half health here they do have to leave but it's probably going to even out here i would assume yeah, it looks like it is, but they want to continue going here on the side of Swift. I mean, they keep calling uh, these pushes, and none of them have ever worked out on these tight Ubers, and June has now got Uber, so they start running in. Uh, Poi is eating a ton of damage running in as well, and they're stuck on the low ground currently in an unfavorable position, but Uber comes out first from June as Impo gets lots and lots of nice damage in, and they're going to have to start retreating on this blue Uber because they're not really finding too much. They do pick up a kill onto the soldier on the point here. Lots and lots of flashing from the red medic as well, so the Ubers are actually nice and even. June senses the soldier bombing and just surfs away nicely. The counter aggression is coming out. Morale does get onto a straight pipe coming out from Yimpo, and the pressure is coming in from absolutely everywhere as it looks like Swift are going to go down here, and it's a clean wipe. Yep, absolute clean up happening from Nubby there. He managed to come in uh, from behind and just clean up like three players there, uh, along with the help of Josh as well from the front in the end. So they're just really struggling uh, with these even fights, and unfortunately, um, they, they should have had a slightly better Uber inside of Swift, and they probably could have taken the space, but uh, both Yimpo and his scout partner needed uh, needed a lot of flashes in there. And now we're, uh, we've are we completely switched positions here. It is a TF2 easy trying to push in here while it's Swift on the defense, but they just don't look like they have the players here to really do much. Uh, Sneaky, I saw he was on the gun for a moment, but came back out and actually is now going to have to be on the pyro. Oh, it's all over the place for this team on this defense. Low push coming in. Pandemic up on the sniper doesn't see the Uber in front of his face. He just gets cleaned up immediately. So that's one player down. Poi out in the open gets cleaned up as well. He was trying to hide the top right side and he was all on his lonesome here. Pyro comes out as well. Just going to try and burn June to death, but unable to really do much. EDK is getting the pressure down. But they're all shooting at the medic, the one that you don't want to shoot at now that they've used Uber. So they're going to start capping out this point. It's going to be a 2 0, and the GGs have been dropped with 20 seconds remaining. And that should be the final score of this game, Steven. Yeah, that will be. They put up such a valiant, valiant effort on the side of Swift. But I think, I, I mean, overall, they did really well. There's some great plays onto June to manage to get those picks. They had some uh, some good pressures all over the place. But the one thing they couldn't do was push onto last. They really, really struggled with it. Yeah, indeed. I mean, uh, they, they, they had good attempts, though. They showed signs of life and stuff. Definitely a team... Where it's like you expect them just to get 5 0 rolled on uh, every single map uh, in comparison to CF2 Easy, especially how Gully Wash looked, where they just got stamped on. Uh, 5 0 was the scoreline on that map for anyone that did miss it. And um, yeah, really, really one sided. But coming in Sunshine, lots and lots of back and forth and signs of life as Swift. So excited to see how they do against more mid table teams rather than the S tier team that is TF2 Easy. Yeah, definitely. I mean, this season is, is you know, we're being pretty hyped up. I'm sure we know is, uh, as cost as how much effort is going into putting, uh, you know, as much content into things as possible. But we are definitely going to see some some closer games. And if they've done this well on Sunshine, you know, maybe one of their preferable maps, there's, uh, you know, a good four teams? Yeah, four, like three, four other teams. Uh, they can uh, make a public great fight against. So I think really, they're a really excited team to, uh, to uh, you know, see going forward. You know, maybe they pick up Poi. I don't know. They need to pick up a medic, though. I think it's uh, going to be a big deciding factor for them. Yeah, they do need to get a medic on their roster. I mean, especially since most of the, most of the medics that are in Prem as well are already on established rosters, so they don't really want to leave where they are currently. I don't know if Poi is actually on a roster, if he's playing in Div 1 or what he's doing, but, you know. Um, I'm, I'm going to go have a look at that after this game. But in terms of uh, the stats and stuff you got on your street, uh, screen for you, Swift actually did more damage overall than TF2 Easy did in that game. Yeah, I think they definitely had the front foot a little bit more. I think they were on the offense more, uh, more than anything else, to be honest. I think they were pushing into last, um, you know, a lot more. I, I, just more more times they had to pressure into them rather than TF2 Easy. TF2 Easy, we saw a lot of the time that, you know, all they really had to deal with was making as much time on uh, on second, especially. So they did a great job of and just trying to uh, not let them milk it, not let them milk that Uber or not let them milk all the space and take it for free. I think they did a great job there, and that was only the real time we've seen a lot of damage. Other than that, they were coast to coasting a lot on TF2 Easy, uh, playing off those advantages well. Uh, but I think, you know, it was a bit of a struggle. Just really good players coming out from Swift um, all over the place. But yeah, in the end, TF2 Easy managed to come back with that. A bit more experience pushing last. They were a little bit faster about getting in with their advantages. I think that's just what uh, worked out for them in the end.
Yeah, um, totally true. And also uh, some raw DM fights, so showing their deathmatch prowess in some of these games as well, which is why I think if you're playing against Tier 2 Easy this tier, this season, that you are banning products basically every single time against them because they do look pretty insane. But Swift, uh, coming over zero points, Tier 2 Easy picking up six more points in this official, heading towards uh, their playoff uh, chances. So uh, we'll see more of them as uh, we go forwards. And uh, yeah, well, what a night of games. But I'm not sure what happened in the other one. So if you want to check that out, it's on TFTV1, I believe. Uh, we're going to rate them right now. So we're heading over there. But um, Stephen, any shouts before we go? No, no big shout outs, just GG's overall. Really hope to see these uh, teams continuing to play for other season and you know keep the good games coming. Very, very excited to see what the rest of this season brings. Yeah, cool. Fantastic. And uh, shout out to Bad Juju, shout out to uh, Doctor Underscore for producing tonight. You're a legend. Uh, thank you so much, my dude. Absolute big boy. Um, but yeah, we'll see you around on TFT1. Peace, guys.